by Terrell. YouTube, Big T Ward, back at y'all with another video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, follow your boy. Make sure you follow me on all platforms. Also, man, you see the icon on the screen. Make sure you visit the shop. You just merch. Definitely appreciate it. <clears throat> also, before I get started today, you know, I saw the title thumbnail. So this is a unboxing video. I am in my YouTube slash man cave. I've been trying to get to this for a minute. Uh, not necessarily turn it into a studio, but I decided to do that um, when I'm home. And uh, I can do a lot of these unboxing videos instead of trying to do them in my garage and, you know, and uh, do them in other places of the house. So I'd rather turn this room into a studio, man. So we can do a lot of these YouTube hair videos and, you know, and uh, <clears throat> do some unboxing things, man. So I did order a desk for this and it is coming. So I got various things coming for this room. I'm going to eliminate some things. Want to keep some things so right now i mean it's just really cluttered i want to show you guys what it actually looks like and you know different things like that man but today's video man i am using these particular wireless mics if you've seen my crew you know a couple of videos i did back a couple of months ago i had these mics i actually got a set of these mics from tiktok shop so they were like nine dollars i got another set from amazon and um, I had like three sets, man. So funny story, I ended up dropping one set, man. Actually, how I messed up both mics is beyond me. I um, we were, we were vlogging in Florida, and um, I forgot I had the mic on, man. I had it clipped on, so I started clipping it on, up, like you know, under my head wraps and stuff like that, because I had it on my shirt, and I forgot I had it on there, and I guess I bumped it some kind of way and knocked it off. And I got to feeling around for it. I'm like, man, where's my mic? And I went back to the spot I was and it was crushed. And uh, I guess I ran over it or stepped on it or something like that. But definitely using these right here. They work pretty good. I did a video the other day to that sound, man. I, I definitely got to get those sound panels in to kind of block out that outside sound. But uh, I did a video the other day uh, when we were picking up a trailer and I went think too far away from the uh, from the mic, actually from the receiver. And I ended up going too far from it and then the, vo the sound got distorted. And um, so let me know how far I can go <laughs> from, you know, actually be from before it started cutting out. So that being said, I got a few mics. So, and I got a another set coming. So I'm gonna be testing out different mics, man. I'm not a, really a microphone guy so i'm testing out various um brands to see what works um i see a couple people using the dgi brand if i made i'm getting one you know set of those but we're going to see another thing i got packages from timu and amazon so we're going to go through them guys try to make this kind of quick i uh, not going to spend a lot of time on them so that's what we're going to do man the first package i got from amazon is a podcast equipment bundle now before i show y'all this is you know this is my first time doing this kind of thing i don't know much about you know um equipment like that or microphones and different things like that so this one looks fairly cheesy you know fairly cheap um i can say that about it so i will make a better investment into this as i go along so let's get started man first of all these things right here awesome uh, i wasn't a yogurt person but these right here are awesome man very awesome so so man uh, let me show y'all what i got this is a squirrel rock you can see it squirrel rock podcast equipment bundle now never heard of this brand like i said i don't know much about you know this type of equipment but so i never heard of the brand i don't know if it's bad worse good you know whatever but from opening the box everything looks fairly cheesy you know, fairly Dollar General looking. You know what I mean? Um, what I mean by that, take these headphones, for example. They look real cheesy, man. You know, like you get them out of the dollar store, something like that. So it doesn't look like the best equipment. So right off the bat, you know, like I made a 
pretty bad investment so far. The mic, I said I'm not a microphone guy, but I don't know. This this feels, you know, looks and feels, you know, cheesy, you know, cheap as well. Not dissing the brand, but it just, you know, what it feels like to me. Uh, like I said, I'm not a microphone guy, but I've seen people in videos with different mics and they look, you know, pretty, you know, pretty, pretty good. So uh, this is a BM 800 from Squad Rock. I see the logo on there. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Probably going to test it out, see what it is, because everything's coming pretty bent up in the box. Even the microphone cover look how it looks, man. You know, so, uh, of course, you know, you know, boom arm and all that stuff, man. And, you know, I don't know, man. Feels, you know, it doesn't feel like the best quality, man, to me. So, uh, I'm ready to drop the ball on this one. And, uh, we got the little interface, which is this, man. Everything's just kind of, you know, self explanatory with the plug in. Uh, got a little charge port. So it does have SB charge port, man, charger. And, uh, that's what it looks like, man. Let's get on up to the camera. Take a look, man. Yeah. Buttons feel okay, man. But, you know, say so I'm going to go through and test it out, see how it is. You know, if it's worth keeping, you know, if it's trash, you know, y'all let me know in the comment section, man, if you just starting out, you know, what's the best equipment to use, what's affordable, what's good, what's, in good, what's good quality, man. So, yeah, this is the mic, man. Of course, you know, you got the standard, you got the cables and different things like that. Not going to go through that whole process. But, uh, yeah, this is the Squaw Rock Podcast Equipment Bundle, man. I'm assuming if you do get better equipment or something like that, probably got to, you know, Probably buy a lot of this stuff separate. I doubt if it comes in a bundle unless they got it, you know, labeled that way. So that being said, man, let's move right along. Got some more things, man, from Amazon. And these are things from a bike. Um, like I said, uh told y'all in previous videos, I got my bike I'm about to go to the shop. So I'm about to set it in, redo the bike. Uh something that's been well overdue. So I'm getting a chance to go. Uh, drop it off in the shop and get it done. So I order a few accessories and stuff off Amazon, man, to kind of change the look of the bike, make it look more modern. Um, it is a 07 Hayabusa 1300. So I bought some mirrors, man. So I'm trying to update the mirror. Right now, I got the bulky mirrors on there. And um, actually, they're just the mirrors that came with the bike. They've been on there for ever since. So I bought these. These are more sleek looking, man. Um, for the bike, so I got those. I got these, man, right here. So they look pretty good, man. It's it got the look that I'm looking for. You know, what I'm saying look more, more modern, you know, than what the, they have on there now. So got these mirrors, man. Also got these mirrors from Amazon as well. So basically, uh, what I did, I went on Amazon. I looked. Um, actually, still got the, you know, got everything I need, the little brackets and everything to put on there but what i did was i looked up mirrors and stuff like that to fit the hayabusa and these these right here were they, they showed up i made sure i typed in the making model and stuff like that man and i looked at videos to see who used the same type of mirror the same type of brand and hey they came up now they were different prices for different people um i don't know if i call it sale or whatever the case but those particular mirror were like Maybe 30 bucks, probably like 30 bucks. Wasn't very expensive. So also another package from Amazon. I got my clutch and my clutch and brake handles. So these are pretty sweet, man. They say higher boots on them. So we got higher boots on written on them, man. So these are pretty dope. Instead of the chrome ones I got on there right now, I'm going to use these right here. They do say higher boots, man. So I thought that was pretty dope. I got those. I actually got the throttle. And I both I got the the grips as well to say high boots man. Got another package here. This particular package is this goes over your gas tank. Or right in front of your gas tank. And you know if you're riding your bike and you lean forward with a gas tank right here. This is that grip and the tank protector. So sticks on, this say boots as well. Uh, kinda got that carbon print to it. So got that man. So to put that on them. Also, I think I dropped the ball on this one. I was intending to get black, but I ended up getting blue. So, 
meaning booster symbols, man. Uh, I was intending to get the black symbols uh, because the fairing that I have is white. Uh, so I was intending to get the black symbol to put on there. So there uh, we go, man, with these. So they actually look smaller than I thought, but maybe they probably fit good on the fender, on the fairings. So I want to see, man. But I might end up ordering some black ones. And uh, I end up getting blue. So wasn't intending to do that. Okay. Last but not least, man, for my booster right now, I got this bar right here. This goes on the back. And right now I got a chrome one on the back. And like I said, it probably came with the bike. Been on there ever since. So uh bought the bike used. I'm a good partner, my good put my good partner, Derek. He got a new booster, so I got his old one. And uh so yeah, man, this bar got booster on it. You see and the symbols and um it feels you know it feels good quality man it's you know it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that it feels pretty good man so i'm gonna take the old one off put this on you know give it a little look man i think the only thing i got to get now for the bike actually i got to get a custom seat i want to change the wheels so change the wheels and the exhaust those are my next the uh, thing that i got to get for the bike uh, which I'm going to get very soon. Uh, so I've been kind of looking up uh, a few custom seats and, you know, little areas and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm going to end up getting some. I'm going to end up getting some wheels and seat, man. So looking forward to doing that. All right. Also, man, let's move on to. Got a little package of t -Moo. Not much. Just some little small things that I got from t -Moo, man, that I ordered. So in this particular order, man, I'm going to rate this. Of what I think it is. So let's start out, man. I got these. I took a couple of days out of the packages. So we got these from Timo, man. I ordered these little flat, you know, I'm going to say beach type shoes uh, because we're going on a cruise later this year. So I ordered my wife and myself a pair of these. Man. So I actually tried them on. They're actually pretty comfortable, fit well. And they're very flexible, man. You know, you can see very stretchy. So they feel good, man. So I can. Kind of walk around, you know, in the sand and knees and, you know, not worry about it. And instead of wearing, you know, some shoes that I don't want to mess up. So it's right here coming handy. So uh, I got my wife a pair, man. I think I ordered my wife a pair of yellow ones or something like that. So, yeah, these are pretty dope. These are pretty dope, man. Like I say, t move pretty good. Pretty good, man. Uh, you know. Especially for the walking around on the beach. I don't, I don't recommend any people walk around with them every day. You know, I, I don't doubt that'll be comfortable, but at least not for me. But yeah, I used to be the good man. There it comes. I just say sport. I forgot what type, what kind of shoes, you know, say. I know they was like lightweight shoe for the beach, you know, or something like that, man. So yeah, Timo, pretty good. Pretty good with that one. All right, guys, we got something else here. What I'll do with it? Well, I might be still in the bag. So let's go in the bag. Go in the bag. All right. I got this bag. I got this mask, man. From team. I got this mask, guys. And I've seen this mask on Facebook. You know, uh, you know, we see the little reels come across, and people are wearing these things. And um, but it's like a little Halloween mask. Not very good quality. It's kind of a hard plastic, but it's it's not. You know what I mean? So, but yeah. Just mask, man. I just bought it just to see. Uh, i probably wear this, man, from around my wife, Can Am, to be honest. You know, if I want to put on a full helmet, I can just put on the badass helmet and slap this on. But let's try it on, man. Let's see. I'm going to take my mic off. Hope y'all see it. Can hear me, man. My mic here. So let me slip this on. All right. So right out the back, it doesn't fit flushed. Okay. We got, I can literally put my finger off here. So it doesn't fit flushed. I can't see out of it. Um. Yeah, you can see out of it. Doesn't fit flush on the face, you know. Uh, it probably be better if it fits like like this, you know. But it doesn't. If I do wear this, I probably put something on my head, like my, you know, mask type, ski mask type, you know, the little thin one that kind of covers your mouth and chin. But yeah, you know, if I'm gonna ride like that, and I want all that wind coming all out of there, man, from riding. So yeah, let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think about that. Definitely. I had to use some of that uh, anti-fog, anti-fog wipes and stuff like that. Speaking of that, 
Um, that's what we're going to open next, guys. So, so yeah, the mask, man. Let me know what y'all think about the mask. You know, I, I don't know, man. You think it's a hit or miss? Let me know. Uh, like I say, the quality feel like a little cheap plastic. It wasn't that expensive, man. Like three bucks, four. So I can't expect it to be no more than that. So speaking of anti-fog, man, man, we feel it. So anti-fog, these anti-fog films, and what these do, man, they go in the inside of your visor. So if you never use the wipes, the anti-fog wipes, they keep, you know, your visor clear when it's raining, you know, and you're breathing in your, your mask and your helmet, it fogs up the visor. So that being said, got my wife. Helmet here. I see Thick Witted 83 is a TikTok and Felicia Smith 83 is a Instagram. So make sure you go follow those for my wife, man. Definitely man. appreciate it. This helmet is the pack talk, what we talk on, you know, if you ride a bike, you know what I'm talking about. So this visor, man, this film go across the visor like so, but in the inside. So it's not going to fit all the way across, guys, but it's definitely to go in the middle. So well, to keep the fog, you know, keep your visor from fogging up. So, yeah, my helmet is in the car, man. But, yeah, we're going to get some more helmet. This is a modular helmet. So, she do, you know, this whole the mask and everything goes up on this. She had this helmet for a little minute. Of course, we got the mic and inside right here. Got the shade that comes down. Get the, mic out the, way. the shade that comes down in here. She got that when she don't want to ride with the visor down. You know, she can just ride like that. You know, so nice helmet, man. Nice helmet. This is one of the better helmets, but it was, you know, pretty decent price. Also, man, speaking of helmets, I got this particular thing for my wife when she's riding, man. So I thought it would be cool since my wife got dreads. So you can literally, she can literally put this up top and ride with it like this so it looks like a ponytail it looks like a ponytail man so hopefully she tries out one day once we ride and uh she can put that on man um, but yeah i'm gonna definitely gonna test out it sent me like four of these four in a pack so i'm um, guessing you probably got to change them out every so often and uh you know to keep it going so all right man let's move along what else we got? No, oh, got a couple of things for my dog so i end up buying this little towel slash little robe like thing for juice, man. So when I get him a bath, I can put this on him, you know, wrap it around him. You know, it opens up here. Just, slip, you know, slip it through on his head, man, and close it up. And that way, you know, he can stay kind of warm and get dry at the same time, you know. And uh, so I think this is pretty good. I'm going to take this with me on the truck, you know, when we give him a, give him a bath and all that kind of stuff, man. So that was pretty good from t -Mo. Uh Timo did drop the ball on this. I ended up getting this, and I thought it was a bigger bed. Turns out, it's what they sent me, and Juice is bigger than this. And uh, so from the picture, it looked pretty big. It looked pretty, you know, it looked big on the picture. And um, so when I got it, man, I was like, man, I got the package. I'm like, I know the, the doggy bed is not in there. And they had it, like, balled up. And I'm talking about they literally had the thing like this. <laughs> like, it balled up, man. It balled up super tighter. You know, the this right here. And they had stuff in the back. I'm like, come on, T-Moo, man. Y'all got to stop putting stuff in boxes, man. Come on now. You know what I mean? Put stuff in the box, man. So, yeah, they dropped the ball on that. What else we got, man? All right, so we got this thing, man. So I kind of went through some of this stuff last night, guys. And uh, so I took it out of the pack. And this is this right here. And this is how the box came, guys. Like, I say put the stuff in boxes, man. Look how it's all bent up, open halfway. You know, when they package your stuff, man. And this stuff just happens probably in transit, you know, loading it up on different stuff. So, but this is a cell phone mount, you know, for your bike. So I ordered this mainly for my wife to put on the can am So this is what it looks like. I've seen these on like, you know, Facebook again. Uh, so what it is, take this part. This goes in the back of your phone. And once you put that in the back of your phone, this part right here clamps on to this. So I think you're supposed to turn it, lock it in, and it locks on. How good it would be, I don't know. You know, like I say, like it's pretty locked on now. I'm trying to pull it apart. And uh, but you set your phone on it and kind of twist and locks it in. 
So this is what this does. This little blue tab locks it in. And um, you put this on your handlebar. So push it down, unlock it, comes off. So then you just push this little tab down, twist it on, and it locks in. So I want to see how good that hold up, you know, against the phone, especially the folds. You know, the folds are kind of heavy. And um, unless my wife changed phones at some point, but um, we probably had to get, and they gave a different, different little tubes came with it as well. So if we want to, you know, put these little grips in, depending on how big the handlebars and stuff are. So uh, unless you change phones sometime soon, I don't know, uh, but we're going to uh, pretty much, want to pretty much use this for right now. All depends on how it is. Let's get, let's get this mic. It's right off the video, dude. So that being said, hopefully on that uh on the phone it held, it held, it holds up. So I don't know. Like I said, the fold is kind of heavy. All right. <clears throat> what else we got, man? In this box, I mean this pad. Let's see. A couple of things, man. Flashlight. I want to say something about this too. Got this flashlight as well, man. So before I do, before I say this, guys, I'm gonna let y'all see this, this this light on the box. This is how the light looks. Look metal. Look like a metal finish. You know, if you're looking at it, right? So this is the light. See how it look like a metal finish on the box, but it's just plastic. It does shine well though. I turned it on last night. I see it's daytime and you see how this light is bright right now. It's DM strobe. So uh, I got it just for the car, you know, put it in the car, my wife's car or something like that. May have a blowout one day, may just need a light. And so I got a few of these ordered. The good thing about these, you can charge them up. So, got a little USB at the back. And uh, so, you can charge them, man. You can recharge them. So, it's pretty good just for having the car, man. Glove box, armrest. So, that's why I got. I want to just get one to see how it was. So, I got a few more ordered, you know, coming in. So, we're going to uh, we're gonna see, man. I think they come in like a pack of four or five or something like that. They probably like five bucks. <laughs> this is like was literally a dollar, man, like a dollar and something. So I got this off a little uh, deal where you get something for 99 cent. So I end up getting this. And but you can recharge it, man. So that's a good thing about it. Some more things I got. I got some things for my dog as well. Here we go. Right here is something I got for my dog. It's called nose bomb. So what this does is show you guys. This is pet nose bomb. And we got... The paw bomb is quick. Pretty small though. I thought it was bigger than what it what it appeared to be on the picture. I just thought it was kind of bigger too. So what it is, you know, if your dog nose is kind of rough, something like that, put this on there. And it's okay for them to kind of lick or whatever the case, because you know dogs lick their nose. So this is cool. This, on the other hand, it smells like lotion. To me, it's kind of watery. From the picture, it looked pretty thick, you know, to the touch, but it's actually kind of watery, man. It smells like lotion, actually. So I thought it was like a thick, you know, but it feels gooey. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really wet. And uh, so I thought it was kind of like a, you know, how Vaseline feels. And I thought it was like that. I thought it was more, you know, a little, little thick texture like that. But it's not, man. It's pretty, it's pretty runny, pretty runny, watery. So when I say I'm going to, just try it out for right now. Probably not an order again, but just want to try it out. Like I said, this stuff was like 99 cent, man. Wasn't very expensive. So I just want to try it, see how it is, especially when we have him in the truck and he goes out, you know, having his business. I clean off his paws. I can put this on, have something that kind of smell nice while he's in the truck and stuff like that. So that's why I bought that. Uh, I think that's it, man. That's it, guys. Uh, I didn't get many things from T move this time. Just a little small order. I want to kind of get some things in. And um, it was mainly for, you know, having juice on the truck. So the bed comes in handy. Even though it's small, it comes in handy for the little spot that he needs to lay in. The microphone, of course. I actually got two of those. Um, I got one is upstairs. And, uh, you know, I said I might end up getting something else um, right now. That looks just fairly cheap, man. So I'm going to look up, you know, the brand itself. And I'm going to look up, you know, see if people use it on YouTube 
and I'll take a look at myself and see how it is. Um, what they say about it. But if I had to rate this this order I got from Timu, I'd give it a four out of ten. I'd give it a four out of ten, man, to be honest. Is is everything looks really cheap because it were it was cheap, but I give it a four out of ten, man. Amazon packages, uh I got a couple of them, so my booster stuff, decent, pretty good. But that podcast equipment, man, <laughs> I I should be a little bit better on that, so which I am. And I'm going to look at some things in a few to see what I can get differently. But I'm gonna look at a few videos first. So I'm gonna do my homework first, do my research. And then, um, you know, a lot of people have their links and they distribute in their descriptions, man. So um, I'm gonna hit the links and see how much their equipment costs. Um, and I'm gonna go from there. Definitely gonna go from there, man. And um, and see what, what they got. Uh, especially the people that do these type of videos, these head videos, these, uh, podcast type videos i want to see the equipment that they use you know so i can get something similar or if not the same type of equipment so so yeah man um we're gonna get the the man cave together the studio together and um like i said by the time y'all see it it's gonna be yeah <laughs> for the things i got ordered i got some other things coming man so yeah man i'm gonna turn this room into uh, a really really good studio um, I gotta get something to kind of block out some of this light too but I don't want that brightness you know I want that, that warm feeling so I'm using a ring light man <clears throat> which is belongs to my wife is that uh, <laughs> to be exact she uses them when she's doing the nails and stuff like that so it's not a very big light but it's kind of okay for this room though so I might end up you know investing in that because I do have a bigger light coming so I don't know if that light would be ideal for this room, but definitely going to see. Um, but I did order it. I got that coming. What else? Uh, I got some other things that's coming too, man, as far as equipment wise. Uh, I do got a camera, guys. I will show y'all that in another video, uh, which is going to be coming up in a few. And I'll show you the camera that I got. I had the camera for a while. I bought it used. And, uh, you know, I only used it once when I vlogged with it one time. And we went to a car show out in Alabama. And so I used the camera to see <clears throat> how it would be vlogging with it. I like it, man, but I think just the grip I had with it, trying to walk around and vlog with it, I had my wrist hurt, man. So I didn't use it as much, but I did use it and it did, you know, the quality was really good. And, um, yeah, it, it was, it was dope. So I will use it again. Uh, probably got to go stack them on some memory cards and stuff like that too. That's something else I got to invest in, get a couple of memory drives and all that. So I can keep some of the work if I want to go back and look and, you know, do my homework and see what I can do different, you know, stuff like that. So, oh, yeah, man, I'm going to take this little studio thing seriously. So I will be doing these type of videos, guys, once I get home, once I get in. And, uh, you know, I don't want to go a whole lot of places and I'm going to start using doing these type of videos, man, these unboxings and reviews and things like that y'all give me giving my take on it and let y'all know what i think about it so like i said with this team order four out of ten one nothing pretty good some stuff i definitely want order again but um some things i will like i said i got these shoes definitely gonna order you know some more of those just just to have a different color just some you know just to have if i'm walking around the house i need to slip on something right quick instead of my slippers all the time and you know i can just put on that i still had a little grip you know or if i'm working out outside or something like that cool i'll put those on and uh so yeah so yeah man but other than that hope y'all enjoyed the video man make sure you like subscribe and comment and follow your boy also man got any tips any tricks uh, any suggestions man about equipment or the studio man any ideas Kind of lay it on me. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know. I definitely read it, man. I definitely get back with whoever it is and go from there. So to the end, man, it's your boy, Big T Ward. They boy on the screen. Of course, I watch myself on the screen, man. You know what I mean? Uh, to get ideas and see what I did different, see what I'm doing wrong, you know, and kind of go from there, man. So, but as always, follow you boy on Instagram, Big T Ward 80. We at 61K. TikTok, we at 16 
K, let's see, Facebook, man, I don't know, I think we're like 1100, man, so, hey, man, it's coming along, make sure you follow your boy on all the platforms, BT Ward 80 on Instagram, everybody knows, BT Ward, man, to the end, it's your boy BT Ward. Bye.